and we are back with <laughs> another episode of Beyond the Streams. Um, what is the the Xiaomi? Didn't they have like a stick that was supposed to be coming out? Man, what the that, hell? Yeah, what the hell happened? Okay, all right, fine, <laughs> fine. It, to me, it's like they made a prototype 10 years ago and then they made a new one and they released the wrong one. <laughs> That's what it seems like. Because you remember when we, like you and I saw the articles being released um, that there was two different ones, one with one gig of Ram and one with two gigs of Ram. Right. Uh -huh. And we're like, that's gotta be a fake article. They're not going to release a device with one gig of Ram. Who's going to do that in 2020. Like this is fake. This is fake news. Go away. We didn't entertain it at all, right? We nope. didn't even, like, we're not going to make a, a YouTube video on this. This is pointless. This is fake news. We didn't waste our time. It was real. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell? And then we didn't even see a two gig model come out yet. Apparently, it's supposed to be coming, but why would they even bother? Like, why would you even release a device with one gig of RAM? What are you going to do with one gig of RAM? I have no idea. I don't even... I don't even know. I don't. What like, I, I heard that. Do you know I what the internal that. memory is? Oh, man. Is it eight gigs? I thought I read it was like eight gigs of memory with one gig of RAM. I believe so. And what's the chipset? That's the other thing. Is it running an S905X? Is it running the S905Y? Like, Let me see if I can find it real quick. I, I, when, when, when it came out, I'm just like, this has to be a joke. When, when, you know, when we first talked about it, we we're like, this is fake news. Somebody's posting this on Fox news or CNN, <laughs> crazy. but, crazy, crazy, but crazy. the thing is, even after it came out, I'm like, this has to be fake. Somebody's reviewing some, something old. Like, there's no way they're going to be, they're going to be showing this. So I ignore it. Like all the YouTubers that were, were that were reviewing it. I'm like, why are you reviewing something that's so old? Yeah, I don't know. You guys, but, you guys were pissed about the super box and now you're reviewing the Xiaomi. I'm like, why? It's it's on Gearbest and it has a five star rating. I don't understand. <laughs> it's it's one gig of RAM, eight gigs of ROM. So this is quad core. Let me see if I can grab the specs real quick here. It's got the, it's got a, how do, I don't understand. It's quad core Cortex A53 at two gigahertz, which is actually a really good CPU. I don't know what specific CPU it is, but that's actually clocked pretty high. The mm -hmm. GPU is the ARM Mali 450. It's running Android TV 9. 450 is good. Like, I mean, these specs are all good aside from the RAM. I wonder if the chipset. Maybe they they clocked everything so much higher, so the RAM doesn't matter. I don't know, man. Because I know uh, I know if you do if you if you do clock certain things up, like your graphics card, for example, if you clock that sucker up there, yeah, you could you could get more than what it act more than what the the what you get with the specs you know you get more power i don't i'm pretty sure that super dell had one i thought he did and i thought he said that it was a little slow but i'll have to go back to his videos and see but now i'm now i kind of want to get one just to look at it <laughs> man i don't want to touch one, it. one gig of ram is just such a waste of time like maybe if they were like it's one gig of RAM, but it's DDR five, and I'll be like, uh, I'll try it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, it's like one of those like, well, maybe uh, I don't know. <laughs> you might as well just go with the Fire Stick one point five. It's like I don't know. It's, it's just it, it's just so hard. It's it's. It's another, what the hell are you thinking? Cannot afford two gigs of RAM? You can't go 1.5. Yeah. They, literally, they literally said, we are going to give you the lowest possible RAM in comparison to anybody that's out here right now. 
Because mm-hmm. I don't think, because remember the old, the Fire Stick before the 4K, I don't think that had any RAM. Yeah, it had to have RAM, but I think it wasn't. Think or it was it the one before sure. that? There, there was there is a Fire Stick. I don't know which one it was. I know the first gen didn't have RAM. The second gen might have not had RAM. The, the 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 only RAM that came out of anything wasn't a dedicated RAM. It was it was off. I think I think they were they were banking off either the chip or something, but they did not have a dedicated RAM. So, just quickly, while I have this up in front of me, there is a two gig RAM version, but they are selling it for a hundred dollars. Interesting. And it doesn't ship to Canada, so I can't get that. (laughs) I don't know what they were thinking, because obviously, I don't know. Maybe they don't know that the Fire Stick exists. (laughs) Because they would think if you're coming out with that, you're going to try to compete with the Fire Stick. If you're not going to try to compete with them, you know, price, then at least try to compete with it spec-wise. Say I am more quality than they are. Yeah, but I, like there's no clear decision as to what statement their device is supposed to make. Is it value? Is it quality? You know, like I don't, I don't get, I don't know, I don't know what to think about it. I'm just, yeah, I don't know. I one, they're going back old school, you know, like big time. So I remember I'm trying to pull up some of this like I'm looking at at the Amazon App Store. I remember when I first looked into the specs on this thing, release year for the Fire Stick. Mm-hmm. Gen 1, 2015. Um they had it says it said the system had 5 112 megabytes and then the video had 512 megabytes no dedicated ram though and i i remember i remember when i was looking into the specs i forgot i i didn't use ida 64 like how i'm using now i used to use something else um but when I went in there and I was looking at it and normally you see the Ram and you see how, what the speeds are doing while you're doing it. Um, it said zero. And I was like, what? <laughs> wow. Well, you can't, I don't understand. I'm like, how do you not? Yeah. So what they did was, so the graphics cards, they typically have built in Ram, mm-hmm. right? What the fire, the gen one, they didn't have a dedicated RAM inside their hardware, but within their hardware, they had some sort of, it was like half and half where the, I don't even know what to call it. The CPU had some kind of RAM and the GPU had some kind of RAM. Was it like an APU union, yeah, APU unit where it ran I both? Think, the I think so. CPU and the GPU together combine and share the RAM for it? I think so. Yeah. So it wasn't a dedicated RAM, but it was split into two 512 and 512. Uh, and one was for system and the other one was for video. Which is weird. And then when the second gen came out, I remember I remember doing a video back then when the second gen with a breaking news, brand new fire stick with dedicated RAM. <laughs> I remember that that came out and I was just like, hell yeah, give me some RAM. Finally, one gig of RAM and I dab. <laughs> <laughs> and that was in 2016. That was one year later. Um, and I remember they did that. Because everybody was complaining, how are you not going to have RAM? How are you not going to have dedicated RAM? Why are you build? Why do you have RAM built into? I don't know what it was, the CPU, the GPU, and then it was half and half. They didn't even do a full half of one, so that means the system took half of it. And then when you were playing, where if it was the GPU that was that was doing the rendering or whatever it was, 
yeah. that that housed the other half. Right. So it made zero sense. Um, it's like. I don't know. It just made zero sense. <laughs> it, 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 so one year later, they come with the second gen of the Fire Stick with dedicated one gig of RAM. Xiaomi, it looks like they're doing the same thing, except they're skipping the first gen. They're just like, hey, we'll just give you one gig of RAM with the newest everything. Newest chipset and all that stuff. Because the GP, you said you said the GPU was running the 450? Yeah, it's the Mali 450. That one's good. And we don't was it is it running the um, logic or all winner? It just says quad core cortex A53. I hate when they do that when they don't want to tell you what exactly like is this a rock chip? What are you doing? Yeah, that's all it says. <laughs> it, they probably don't want to tell you because they're gonna be like, this is the am logic chip S eight hundred series. <laughs> it's like, wait a minute, what? But I mean, it's got HDR, it's got Dolby, it's got all that, all that kind of crazy stuff. So I'm very interested to see. I don't know. I I I, I really don't want to waste my time with it because you have devices like the 4K Fire Stick that runs pretty good. You got devices like the Vid Stick, and you know what? Let me let's just eliminate. Let's just eliminate the Fire Stick because we know the Fire Stick and the TiVo. We know the Fire Stick and the TiVo have that 4K Netflix and they have all those. The Xiaomi is not going to run. I don't think they have Android and they have all that stuff thrown in there, do they? What, the the Xiaomi Mi Stick? Yeah, do they have like Netflix, like like 4K Netflix? Yeah, it's a it's an Android TV device. It's certified. Well, it has a Netflix button. Okay, so that means they do. Remember, Android TV doesn't mean Netflix certified. I know, I know. But yeah, but yeah, they do. But if they have a Netflix button, they probably have the 4K Netflix. Um, yeah. Okay, so that means we have to compare it to the Fire Stick and the TiVo. And I, I would I would put, I, I don't know, man. The TiVo for, for me was probably the lowest out of all the devices that we've done in the past when we keep looking at specs and everything. But the show me, <laughs> they might be the winner. <laughs> they might be the winner oh, of the world. This is what they did. They, they came out with two models. And the one that they released first is a 1080p model. So the whole device is going to be using less memory because it doesn't have to scale 4K at all. Not for the user interface, nothing like that. None of the programs, none of the movies, none of the TV shows, nothing. Still it's not skeptical. Scaling? It's not, it's just 1080p. You can only run that at 1080p. And then the one with two gigs of RAM, I think is going to be their 4K one. I think that's what they're doing. Well, if they're running 1080, then that means they don't have to... One gig of RAM, one gig of RAM should be fine at 1080. And and well, which RAM are we running? DDR three, DDR four, because that that matters too. And if it's running one gig of RAM and it's only pushing 1080, I that I can see why that device would be slow then. I don't know. I, I got to get my hands on it to actually play with it, man. Oh, man. This, what, the hell? what the hell, Xiaomi? <laughs> it's just it, like when you come out with a product, the consumers, the average consumer should not be confused as to why they should buy it. Mm -hmm. It should be a little bit more concise. Like me being somebody that buys a lot of these devices, I should be able to look at it, look at the specs, and already kind of understand what they're telling me that I can do with it before even plugging it in. That sounds like a good live show. <laughs> <laughs> sounds like a, like a show coming soon to a theater near you. <laughs> but it's true. Like when you, when you look at new boxes that come out, right? Isn't that what you do? You look yeah. at it, you say, okay, it's coming with this. You're checking off these things in your head. You're like, it's coming with this. It's coming with this. It's coming with this. This means I can do this, this, and this. Now let's put it to the test. 
Yep. But when you're like mixing stuff around like this, you're just trying to confuse me. And I don't like it when they play with my emotions. <laughs> <That's like laughs> with, your, with your stomach. Don't play with your food. <laughs> right. Don't play with my stomach. Don't play with my food. Don't play with my tech. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so what else happened in July? Well, I was about to say, um, I wanted to give a big shout out to the one. We had yeah. a recent show where he was like, what the hell? <laughs> and he bought, he sold out on next. So next level has these masks, these face masks. And we were doing a show and he just starts dropping a lot of dough, and I mean <laughs> dough and donations, and donations uh, of dough, donations of dough and cheese and whatever you want to call it, cheddar, uh, monopoly money for if it's Canadian. <laughs> yeah, good thing he was from the U.S., so that means it's real. <laughs> it's real, yeah, it's real. <laughs> so when he was dropping the 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 money, he sold out Next Level, and we were like, "What the hell mm -hmm. is going on here?" <laughs> That's a good so, what the hell moment. Yeah, big, 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 big shout out to the one. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for helping uh, the cause. I, I always like to say helping the cause because there's just so many things that we're doing behind the scenes, yep. and a lot of people. Uh, yeah, we it pretty much did a couple live shows, and we started to do the giveaways sponsored by the one based on all those donations. <laughs> <laughs> so it was amazing. So big shout out to you. It, it, it's 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 a good thing when they see people in the community not just taking a donation. Like a lot of times when we give stuff away, it's because the community is giving something to us and we give back every single item or every single dollar that happened in that show where all those donations came through was all attached to an order that's being shipped this week. You know what I mean? So, Great. so, so it's not like I took all those donations and I was like, I'm going to get me some cheeseburgers. Right, I'm trying to start up my own merch line, you know, to try to help support myself and give back to the community, give some good quality stuff. The same thing that Rojas does with his merch and everything else and everything that we give back to the community. We want to make sure that it's good quality. And, you know, with, with the community reinvesting in us, like, like how the one does, it's not always easy to start all this from scratch. It isn't. So with, with people being so kind and generous to do these things, we can invest in that next order. We can take our stuff to the next level. <laughs> you know what I mean? We can, <laughs> we can, we can really start to get back to the community. So that's it's just awesome. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, everybody said that. I mean, I talked to the one after, and he was like, "I just did it to see the look on your face." And I'm like, "I didn't even know what I look like," but I was like, "Is this happening right now? <laughs> Is this really happening right now?" Yeah. That was a crazy show. So if you guys didn't see that, that was actually on a Friday. So go back to a couple of the Friday shows. And you'll see it. Um, it, it is it, 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 was, uh, it was the first July thirty first. July thirty first. We live stream every Thursdays and Fridays on our YouTube channels. All the descriptions in the all the details are in the description below. <laughs> Sorry, I'm thinking about that that live stream, but I'm getting all flustered again, man. Well, you did get emotional. You put your head down, and you're like, "Okay, we're gonna just give these away." Then <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "This fool is either." crying because of his donations or he's crying because he ran out of food from his plate one of the two or both <laughs> probably both <laughs> probably both probably both <laughs> probably both but it, it, it's it was a great what the hell happened it was a, it was a crazy day it's still i'm still running a little bit of a high from that day to be honest yeah it was great it was great um what the hell with playstation and xbox they made some huge announcements Mm -hmm. and um so this is interesting ever since ever since playstation had their event in july and they talked about specs they showed gameplay they showed how it looks like and then xbox kind of rushed and like oh us me too me too <laughs> me too, me too movement me too, movement. Me too <laughs> movement. it's like yeah we know you're 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 still trying to catch up xbox you had the lead at one point now you're catching up um, we were looking at like the teraflops. We're like, what the yeah. freak? Someone's gonna be like, what the hell is a teraflop? Yeah. So I was looking into um I was reading some posts and I was reading into some hardcore gamers, and I mean these guys are like 
hardcore gamers. They have the Xboxes, the Playstations, the whatever Nintendo, whatever computer. They have everything and everything, and they love to test everything when it comes to gaming. You and me said, because, of course, the next level being uh, Xbox, Rojas being PlayStation. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, well, guess what? Blu-ray comes from Sony. And who mm-hmm. owns Sony? PlayStation. So mm-hmm. guess what? We're going to get the first latest and greatest of XYZ. And then yeah. he's like, well, we got Gears of War. We got this. We got that. I'm like, that's fine. Because we got this and we got this. He's like, well, we got 12 teraflops. And I'm like, yeah. the f- <laughs> we got 10. So what? What the hell is that supposed to be? It's going to be like this much of a difference. <laughs> hey, so I would be trillion. It could be yeah. trillions. So I went to look into, um, I went to look at that. Like, I'm like, dang, I'm like, if, if Xbox is putting just that much more of a flop, a teraflop, two more teraflops than PlayStation, that means there's a good possibility that Xbox is going to have a little bit more power than the PS5. I started reading into blogs, just, just going into people who are diehard xbox fans and people were actually kind of disappointed saying they are putting the number 12 in front of those you know 12 teraflops to say look we got a little bit more teraflops than playstation but it's not as powerful as the playstation because then they started listing all these other specs that xbox failed to mention (laughs) (laughs) it was it's almost it's almost like we're saying um okay because him and because next level and i we constantly talk about ram and hard drive and all this stuff if i were to say hey i have uh 64 gigs of ddr5 ram and next level says, well, I have 128 gigs of DDR3 RAM. Who's probably going to win? DDR3 or DDR5? DDR5. DDR5. And it almost, it's almost, it doesn't matter if you have 120, if you have double the amount of RAM than I yeah. do at that point. You know what I mean? So apparently um, this Xbox vlog um, that I was reading, I think it was on Reddit. Um yeah, people were legit arguing about it, saying how disappointing it it's been with uh, the Xbox One. How they they had this huge push with the 360, and then they kind of fell off the wagon when they dropped indie games and they opened up their own thing, and then they're trying to get all the gamers to go with Microsoft only Xbox Live. I think it is. Um, but they started talking about, hey, yeah, sure, they're talking about 12 teraflops, but look at the fine print between all the specs and then compare it to the PS5. They're saying the PS5 is is has all the newest, latest, and in in I guess the word is innovation is what they're doing. But um somebody was saying on the Xbox uh the Xbox forum, they said if you load so I'm going to, I, I got to dumb it down because once we start talking about teraflops and all the different specs, I know everyone's going to be like, wait, you lost me. <laughs> yeah. 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 So let me explain. If next level's playing, um, the new Spider-Man game and I'm playing the new Spider-Man game and it loads the screen up, it loads the screen. Remember we we're talking about like trash cans and like yeah. all that stuff. Um, there is going to be a set cookie cutter of a trash can that will be in the corner of each street when you're playing spider-man and it will be the same exact one everywhere you go with playstation it's supposed to feel more natural so for example if you go outside and there's a feather that blows right in front of you it's going to be random if you're playing uh, Xbox and you see a feather that comes right in front of you, you're going to see that same feather every single time that comes right in front of you. It's almost like that loading screen when it comes up and then you see like the particles move around to open up your screen of what you're playing. It's going to be the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. 
Whereas the PlayStation, it's supposed to be very uh, different. It's going to be, it's going to feel more natural. Um, they're just, they're, th what they're doing is, is they're just trying to give you a more real life experience. And I think with those specs that they're doing, they're, they're pushing just a little bit more power to give the gaming companies the ability to do this. And I know you're probably going to be looking at it like, hmm, but I like my 12 teraflops. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> so I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Make sure you guys are sharing the video. Make sure you guys are telling a friend, share the podcast around. We're going to be, we're going to be putting a lot of stuff out there. So hopefully you guys do enjoy this one. And yeah, stay tuned for the next episode. We always got lots of stuff coming. Um, as we always say here, you guys take care, take care of each other, stay humble and be patient, and we'll see you guys soon. Peace.